Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be making a hat on the Rakoma EM1010. Now I am very new to hats on the EM1010. I've only made a couple during my training and I haven't really done hats since then. So by far I am a very, very much a beginner, but if I can do it, you can do it. This was super easy. I actually did the digitizing in the Chroma software and I am not a digitizer. I'm still learning that, but I'm gonna walk you through this very simple design and how I created Created this hat. So let's get started. So here we are in Chroma Lux. Chroma Inspire comes with any Rakoma embroidery machine, but the Chroma Lux is an upgrade from that and that just offers more features, more um, options, more designs. But with Chroma Inspire, the software that comes with your machine, you'll be able to do the exact same thing that I am doing in this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the T, which is the text tool, and I'm just going to click down on my screen and that is going to bring up my text box. So here I'm going to type in the first box the word maker. I'm going to do all caps. And here I can click in this text box and this will show me all of the fonts that come with the software. Now I do have Chrome Alex, so I may have more fonts here than what you have. It's up to you whether you want to use that or you can click this button right here and use a true type font. I just want to show you what's available in Chrome Alex, so I'm not going to use one of my true type fonts just in case you want to absolutely duplicate this design. So we're just going to click this one, which is right here, and we're gonna click OK. All right, so now I need to choose a height for my font, and I can already see that this one is at 0.81 high, and the width is about three inches, so I don't wanna go much bigger than that. So I'm gonna choose 0.9. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm gonna tab, I'm gonna leave the space as it is. Line spacing, there's only one line, I don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna leave everything else and I'm going to click apply. And that's telling me my design is 3.78 and the height is 1.92. I might be able to go just a little bit bigger. Let's do one inch. Click apply. All right, now we're at one inch and we're four inches long. That's plenty big. I might even want it a little bit less than that. I'm gonna go 0.95. All right, so we're right at 3.98 and the height is 0.97. Now I wanna check on the density. So if you don't see the 3D mode so that you can see the stitches, you just click this box right here. This is the 3D mode and that shows you what your stitches look like. If you wanna change it, you wanna make it more dense, less dense, you can click this button right here and you can change your density. The lower the number, the higher the density. So this actually, Looks pretty good. I think I might go 0.35 and that will make it a little denser. See how that looks. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna leave that as is. Now I want to change the color of each letter, but if you look over here in the layers panel, all this text is on one layer. So I'm gonna click on that text layer and then I'm gonna right click and choose break up text. What that's going to do is allow me to manipulate each letter separately. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the M. Oops, I'm gonna click off so it unselects it. Now click the M. And then I can go down here and right click on the color that I want the M. But I actually, the M, I'm just gonna leave pink. I'm gonna to go to the A and I'm gonna right click on this yellow tab. I'm gonna to go to the K and I'm gonna right click on this teal tab. I'm gonna to go to this one, make it green and this last one we can make blue. Now, if the colors you want aren't down here, all you do is click on one of the tabs that are there and you can change your threads here. You can change them to whatever you want. I don't actually worry about the actual brand. I'm just looking at a color for reference, but you can absolutely choose exactly the color that you want, the color code if you have a specific Madeira thread that you like or whatever but this just gives me an idea of colors. So again, if you don't see the color you want, just click on the tabs that are down here and click it. If you have a ton of tabs down here, all you have to do is click minus and that will keep it just to the colors that are in your design. If you click plus, you can add another color. So yours might look like this. 
And since you only have these colors in your design, if you click minus, it will take it back down to only the colors in your design. So hopefully that makes sense. So when you're stitching a hat, you want to, the general rule of thumb is to stitch from the center out and the bottom up. So what we need to do to get this in order is we wanna stitch this K first. So I'm gonna click on the K, make sure it's selected in this layers panel, and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose order and then I'm gonna choose to back. And that's going to make it stitch first. And then I wanna go to the A. So I'm gonna go right click, order, backward. And that's gonna move it back one step. And then we want the E to stitch. So I'm gonna go right click, order, backward, and then the M and then the A. So now that we have our letters in the order that we want, going from the center out, we're going to click on the stitch simulator right here, our slow redraw. You click on that and you can run this and see. So let's see, we've got the K, A, E, M, R. So it's going to stitch from the center out. So that's essential for embroidering a hat. So the next thing I want to do is I still want to add a never stop making under this hat. So I am going to go back to the text tool and I'm going to click down again and I am going to choose a font. Let's move this window down. I'm going to choose a small font. So I'm going to click on this window and I'm going to scroll down and there are some small ones down here, um, right here. So you can see it says hobo small, Gaudi small, Diana small. I'm just going to choose this impress small, hit okay. And it's coming in at about a quarter of an inch. I think that's about right. So let's hit never stop making. And we're going to click enter, 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 apply. That looks about right. And we're going to put that right under here. So now I'm going to click the selection tool. I'm going to hit control A or command A. And we can see our design is about 1.3 inches tall and 3.98 inches high. That is good. If we wanted to change that spacing on never stop making, we could space that out a little bit. Let's go back to our text. Let's go to that spacing and change that to maybe 10%, click apply. Let's go just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go 15%, click apply. And that's just spacing those letters out a little bit. And that will be something like that. So now what I wanna do is change that never stop making to another color. So I'm gonna make that gray. I'm just gonna use one of these tabs down here that I'm not using. Click it and click a gray color. Click OK. And then while that's selected, I'm going to right click on that tab and now it's gray. So let's go over here and click the minus button and we can see just the colors that are in our design. Under there, I'm going to click the maker, select just the maker. Make sure all those layers are selected. Let's just go over here in the layers panel and make sure all those are selected. And then I'm going to right click and group. So then I have this layer and that's all a group. That's one layer. So I'm going to select all control a, and I'm going to click align center, make sure those are centered up. And then while it's all still selected, I'm going to go over here to this tab at the top right here. And I'm going to put the X position in Y and zero and the Y position at zero. And that's going to center it in my hoop. And now it's ready to export and save. Now, this is just a very basic design and this is super easy, but you can always have someone digitize for a hat. And if you have somebody digitize, make sure that you tell them it's for a hat and they will make sure and design it center out, bottom up. So now we're ready to go ahead and export this. So all you do is click file, save as, and you can save, change the name here. I could change this to maker. And then the RDE file is your working file. You wanna save that if you have any intentions at all of coming in and making changes. I generally just always save it just in case 
I stitch it out and it doesn't work the way I think it's going to work, I can come back in here and make some changes. And then I could turn around and save it again, backspace out the RDE and put DST and save it as a DST file. So that's all you need to do. You're gonna load that on your machine and now I'll show you how to hoop a hat. Now, when I actually stitched this out, I did use a true type font that was on my computer. I wanted to show you how to use a chroma font for the video. So this is my hat. I've just put some painter's tape on the bill just because I don't want it to rub against the machine and get any markings on it. You don't have to do that. I just find it an extra safety precaution just in case. But what you're going to do, you're going to undo the back of it. You're going to open it up on the inside and pull the sweatband down. So generally this is up in the hat like that. You just want to pull it out so that it is facing out. All right, and we've undone the back of the cap. So now I'm going to, I have my stabilizer over here on my hat hoop right under this little center mark. This right here has a center mark. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right there. That is the center of the hat. My objective is to get the center of the hat lined up with that. I'm actually going to turn it, shift it just slightly to the left because when I put this bar over, it tends to shift it just a little bit. So in order to get it centered, I'm going to put it just slightly to the left. So I'm going to take this sweatband and I'm going to place it over the stabilizer and up to that mark, and again, the center mark, I'm trying to line up with that center mark, and I'm just going slightly to the left. And I wanna make sure that this sweatband stays flat all the way down. And I'm gonna pull this as tightly as I can. I'm gonna pull it down, and I'm gonna hold it as tightly as I can. And I'm gonna pull this lever over and this goes right up against that bill. And then there is a lever over here that it hooks on. And then you lock it into place. You want to make sure that this band is right down against that cap before you lock it in. I'm going to take a couple of these clips and I'm just going to clip this on the back of the hat. Take it off and show you. Now there are clips holding this on at 10, two, and seven. You just unhook it and this is what it looks like. So I've got the hat nice and tight against the frame. I've got this band is up against the bill of the hat as far as I can get it. And now we're going to place it on the hoop exactly like it was on this hooping station. So let's Move the camera up. So I'm going to choose the hat hoop on the machine. Hit OK, and it's going to move the hoop into place. And we're going to place this on the machine exactly like it was on our hooping station. So I'm going to put it in sideways like this to get the bill under there. And then I'm going to rotate it up. And then I'm going to hook it at that same spot 10, 2, and 7, making sure that it clicks into all three places. Okay, so I've loaded my design on the machine. I need to make sure that it's lined up on the hat the way I want it. So I'm going to hit escape. It automatically, when you choose the hat, it automatically flips it upside down, but you can double check that and you can see it's upside down here. So we're going to hit escape. And we are going to go to the needles needle one and I want to get needle number one right there in that center. Now my design actually starts perfectly right in the center so I am going to move it just a little bit so it doesn't start sewing right in that seam. So I'm just going to move it oops, to the side just just to the very just a hair to the side right there. So that's where my machine's going to start that out of the way. All right, so we want to trace our design. So we're going to lock the machine. Okay. So it looks a little high, so I'm going to move it back a little bit. 
Let's retrace again. Maybe just a hair more. And that looks good. And this is why I put the tape up there because this rotates and I just don't want it to get any mark on it, especially since this is a white hat, but you don't have to do that. All right, so we're ready to go. I've already set up my colors. Surprise! Leave a comment below to enter to win one of these hats. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Making hats is something that I'm not really proficient in. I'm still learning, but it's super easy. It's a lot of fun. And if you're interested in the Rakoma EM1010 or any of the Rakoma machines, I do have a link in the description below. Just click that link and they will be happy to help you. It will also save you at least $100 on a new machine, depending which machine you choose. Thanks so much for watching and as always, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.